The Webb Telescope has discovered the deepest and coldest ices found to date in a molecular cloud. Molecular clouds are insanely huge, dark, dusty regions of space that are also considered stellar nurseries since they have all the ingredients necessary for the formation of stars. Last year, astronomers even found building blocks of RNA in a molecular cloud near our galactic center. RNA is a molecule found in all living cells. Webb was designed to view the cosmos through infrared light, which is invisible to the human eye. Seeing the universe through infrared light is extremely useful because you can pierce through dense clusters of gas and dust that would otherwise be invisible to optical telescopes such as Hubble. In the latest study, astronomers used Webb's infrared instruments to study how starlight from beyond the molecular cloud was absorbed by the icy molecules within. This process helped astronomers to accomplish the chemical characterization of the ices. It's a process that leaves behind chemical fingerprints known as absorption lines, which can be compared with laboratory data to identify which ices are present in the molecular cloud. This cloud is known as Chameleon 1 and lies about 630 light years from Earth and is in the process of forming dozens of young stars. In this image, you can clearly see the cold cloud material in blue, which is illuminated in the infrared by the orange glow of the young protostar in the upper left, known as CED 110 IRS 4. You can see even more orange dots of background stars sprinkled throughout the image, whose light pierces through the cloud. Temperatures here are so cold that various molecules such as ammonia and methane, and even the simplest complex organic molecule, methanol, have frozen onto grains of dust inside. These icy ingredients will make future generations of stars and planetary systems, meaning this is the most comprehensive study to date of these ingredients before they are heated during the formation of young stars. Also, Webb's data proves for the first time that molecules more complex than methanol can form in the icy depths of such clouds before stars are born. This research is part of the Ice Age project, which is one of Webb's 13 early release science programs. Scientists designed these observations to showcase Webb's observing capabilities and to allow the astronomical community to learn how to get the best from its instruments. The Ice Age team will make further observations and is aiming to trace out the journey of ices from their assemblage through to the formation of icy comets. The results were published in the January 23rd issue of Nature Astronomy, and you can find a link to that in the description below. Don't forget to watch the video on the right and subscribe. Thanks for being part of Cosmonology.